Hey, it's Alice and Henry and Kendall. And we just got on the ferry to Nantucket and we are gonna show you some great sights to see on the island. Are you ready? See you there. Okay, now we're at the Nantucket Boat Basin, which is a must-see on the island. As you can see, it's beautiful. And it's just nice to spend a little bit of time here having some drinks and a slice of pizza, which we are going to get right now. Oak pizza tastes amazing. And lucky for us, it's right next to where the boat docks. Place two. All right, now we're in front of the White Elephant. It's a beautiful boutique hotel right in the center of town. If you need a place to crash, the White Elephant is a great choice and it's right in the center of town. It was established in 1920 and started out as a collection of cottages. It was always Elizabeth T. Ludwig's dream to turn it into a luxury harbor side hotel. And today, it is. Place three, souvenir shopping. Who doesn't want to go souvenir shopping while on vacation? And Nantucket has some great shops to check out. Whether you want candy, antique jewelry, a sweatshirt, or just some toys for your dog. Place four is Steps Beach, known for its beautiful views and sandy white beaches. Oh, and of course, the Steps. It is a wonderful jewel not so far from all of the main attractions on Main Street. Hey guys, so we're currently at Steps Beach and we just walked down these steps. I'm um, not too bad, not too crazy. Not too um, bad going down. No, we'll see uh, how it is going up. But yeah, so we just got here and I think we're about to take our shoes off and then head on over to the beach. So we just left the stairs. It was quite a walk up those stairs, um, but next we're about to go to Sconset. Place five is Sconset. Known for its charming rose-covered cottages, it's short for Syasconset, a Wapanoag Algonquin name. The Wapanoag people lived undisturbed until 1641, when the island was ceded by the British to Thomas Mayhew. So another great thing about Sconset is that they have great ice cream and it's just at the general store, so we're gonna go get some, come on! The Sankety Head Lighthouse in Wisconsin was built in 1850 and automated in 1965 and is still in operation. Place 6 is visiting a historic museum. You wouldn't want to miss the Whaling Museum or the Museum of African American History on Nantucket. We chose the Museum of African American History and learned about black whaling captains and innovative thought leaders who helped to make the island what it is today. Last but not least on our journey is Place 7, Black Eyed Susans. And they're known for a great breakfast, but we make sure that you're ready to wait because it's so good that everyone wants to eat here. We wanted the best breakfast and we found some great grub to get us started on our day. It's just good old fashioned cooking off the main street in the heart of town. Nantucket makes for a great getaway with so many charming shops and sights to see. Thanks for hanging out with us and seeing the top attractions in Nantucket. I'm Allison. I'm Kendall. And we'll see you next time on Travel Girl.